I almost pressed play on the video instead of play on the recording. Okay, welcome back to Vision. This is the season episode nine, the series finale. So pretty, pretty blatant that this is a mini series. Um, <laughs> uh, last time we got a lot of flashbacks, origin about a little bit about Agatha. To be honest, I'm still confused. Um, but we got that. I'm actually going to look at my YouTube quick because I know a couple of you guys were talking a little bit on there. I just want to make sure I mention them if anything big was happening. Uh, shit. But last time, yeah, Agatha Origins in Salem. We had Wanda is confirmed to use Chaos Magic and uh, she's the Scarlet Witch, which again, who knows what that means. Um, like, I don't know in the comics what it means. So I don't know if that's like so there's a couple things here firstly in the back of my mind i was thinking maybe they're setting up scarlet witch as sort of like this phoenix force entity um because the way she had like that vision with the mind stone and everything like that and obviously the connection to mutants i was i was thinking maybe she was like the vessel for the phoenix force in the mcu but then i believe the showrunner somebody a writer somebody from the show pretty much put out a statement saying I think a lot of fans are going to be disappointed with the finale and to me that means there's not going to be mutants um maybe not even like a lot of Doctor Strange setup um I feel like it's just it was a way to temper expectations because a lot of people had I, I'm, I'm included a little bit um had expectations that this show was going to introduce some things that maybe aren't going to be introduced so I'm kind of going in with low expectations for this episode um, and the greater MCU as a whole. So again, no more mutants, or not no more mutants, huh? <laughs> not expecting mutants to show up anywhere. Maybe not even, I know a lot of people are expecting Reed Richards for some reason. Um, I, I never thought he was going to show up. Um, I'm still kind of holding out hope for a Mordo appearance. Um, someone he said on Twitter, and I was just, I'm just like stuck on that. I'm like, that would be really cool if Mordo showed up. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of still on the fence about a Doctor Strange, Mordo, some sort of one of those characters to show up in this uh, as sort of like a cliffhanger thing. But yeah, I'm not really expecting a lot of bigger, larger ties um, just yet. Um, with negative vision, white vision, sorry. I have him. I know it's negative vision, but I know he's called White Vision now. Um, people are speculating that he will merge with the Westview Vision somehow. Um, maybe like the consciousness of Westview Vision inside of White Vision's body, since that's the actual, you know, limbs and stuff, and that's the way that Vision as a whole can continue on in the MCU. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't really care if he continues on in the mcu i'm sorry but like i think scarlet witch for sure has a lot of potential still vision this show kind of feels like you know this is i think he served his purpose you know the infinity stones are done with like that the infinity war saga is done with so to have the stones continue on kind of feels weird to me so Unfortunately, he is a product of the stones. You know, he's he's literally one of the stones. So I don't really see a point in continuing on with his character, but we'll see. Um, what else? Uh, Haywood, Hayward, whatever his name is. Um. Oh, that was another thing. Mephisto. I don't think it's going to. I don't. You know, like I said, that's one of those big things that everyone's sort of speculating on. I think that's kind of what the showrunner writer person was saying. Um, don't expect Mephisto to show up. I'm not, again, I, I, I think he could be evil. Haywood definitely has his own motives, but I don't think he's like secretly nightmare or something, you know, like everyone keeps saying that. So I don't think so. Um, uh, do scrolls. I could see that happening, especially cause they're doing secret wars, I believe. Right. Um, and they've set up scrolls in the past relating to Captain Marvel, which again, Monica, Captain Marvel two, definitely going to show up. Um, Pietro, he's a dud. Um, I'm so curious to see what exactly he is because, again, the way Agatha described him, he's just like a puppet. So, like, almost like a move, like a human drone 
for her to like speak through and hear through and see through. So is it literally just like some sort of random corpse that she has that she has glamoured to look like a Pietro that, she, that, you know, and she didn't quite get the features right. And so that's why he doesn't look the same. You know, I, I'm still I still want to know more about him. But I'm again, because he is a mutant, <laughs> I'm not expecting a lot of information on him. We'll we'll see. Anyways, let me get into the episode to find out. I I clicked play on WandaVision because I just go to I have it saved on, you know, Disney Plus. And then it went to the first episode, and so it was like 29 minutes. I was like, hold up, <laughs> the finale is only half an hour long. So I had to like go to the last episode. Like, oh, okay, 50 minutes. Okay, we can do this. Let's go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, she wants her power? Well, there goes my theory that Agatha might be a hero. <laughs> In disguise. Not the. Okay, Wizard of Oz looking ass. Oh. They already sent White Vision in? What the fuck? He's gonna start crushing your face in. Yep. Use some fucking powers, girl! Jesus! Oh, shit. We are getting Vision versus Vision. I honestly don't care about this fight. Like, this feels very superhero third act, and I just... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, he's in the ground. Come on, Vision. Jesus. I. Nice. Because he's a magician. The way they just don't care what he's doing. Ooh, Doctor Strange. I'm not what you say I am. Another Ultron reference. There are no strings on me. Oh shit. Girl, fly out there. Get out of there. Ralph? Oh. You do. You won't let us go. Just let us die. I. I will let you go. Like, is Agatha gonna try and absorb that power right now? now you'll see. Or is it because of Vision and the kids? Now oh, they are too! Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this is. Y'all, I. <laughs> Kids, it's time to fight the government. Ooh. Is that Woody Harrelson? Oh. Ma'am, what the fuck? She could turn into energy. He can stop. Yep, he can. Fuck us up with this. Blast him! Blast him! Oh, Darcy! Have fun in prison! <laughs> so now he's giving him the memories. Cool. So now he can take. Well, the boys are still fake. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Haven't seen that trick in a while. What is happening? <laughs> Does she want Agatha to win or what? She keeps missing though. I don't get what. Is there something happening there or what? Did she cast a bunch of runes on the place? Is that why? That's why she was missing, because she was casting runes on the walls. What the heck? Outfit change? Oh. Wait, what? She's taking her power back? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So she is taking the hex down. Or at least reducing it. Yeah, she's killing them. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kachi. <clears throat> I mean, it's technically the right thing to do. But also, I feel like we could have found a way to, like, make it real. Try again in the next iteration. Maybe get the spell right next time. Okay, that one got me. That line got me a little bit. Ooh, and the music helps. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got some in credits. Old friend of your mother's. Oh. Fury? <laughs> any more, any more, any more, please. <laughs> oh yeah, there's more. There's more. Just gotta, just gotta, just gotta get some more. I'm just, I'm just feeding for a bit more. <laughs> Not me, actually, on the edge of my seat. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere, huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. She's gonna make another, she's gonna do it again out here. That's what I would do, writing wise. I would have her learn her lesson, try again. Oh, why? Oh. She's learning. What? Okay. Hmm. So yes. Uh, wait. How much time do I have? Okay, I gotta be working like an hour. Okay, um, so Pietro's Ralph, fine, whatever. Like I said, I wasn't expecting mutants. Cool, we wrapped up that little plot line of like, who the fuck is Ralph? Awesome. Um, Agnes, oh, Agatha. Okay. So my thing is, she controlled at the end. She beat Agatha. Yada yada. Everything cool. I love that little like. It was simple, it was cliche, but, like, it was it was a good cliche, you know? Like, it set up the fact, like, you taught me how to use runes, I put some runes down to beat you. Easy. I'm okay with the fact that she kept Agatha alive, because I was thinking it would be dumb to kill her. So I like that. Um, I'm just confused, because if she took down the Hex, you know, restored everything back to normal, where's Agatha? You know, is she just out there in the wild, mind-controlled, like, sedated, kind of? Or what? Like, where did she go? That's my thing. Um, because from what we have seen, um, Wanda doesn't have, like, the dark dimension and shit. You know, the mirror dimension, whatever. Um, I haven't seen Doctor Strange in a while, but, like, you know, there's, there's like, trapped dimension kind of things that they did where they could trap people and stuff so from what we know wanda doesn't know how to do that so where's where's agatha that's my question um uh we have a vision out there in the world white vision with full memories so he's like basically back to the vision we know he's running around somewhere right um i don't know when we'll see him again I feel like I was expecting Wanda to be turning into an antagonist, um, and I was right. Not about that, but I was, I was right about the fact that it was Wanda all along. Y'all people kept trying to say it was somebody else. <laughs> Agatha did help, but it was Wanda. <laughs> this whole fucking show is Wanda. No, Hayward was just there, okay? There's no big bad. It was dumb, okay? It was Wanda. <laughs> So, I'm glad that that happened. I'm glad we didn't introduce too many things. Because, again, if they introduce Doctor Doom, Nightmare, Mephisto, whatever the fuck everyone tries to think that's going to happen. Mutants. Mutants, I did think was going to happen. But, 
I could see why they didn't do it. Um, but yeah, well, at least they laid the groundwork for mutants, I'll say. Um, because again, she captured about 3,000 whatever people-ish. So if they're like Monica, have been rewritten their DNA a little bit, mutants. Um, but yeah, for now, there's no mutants. So I'm okay with that. But like I said, it would be too conflated, too, too much shit if they added all those other antagonists especially with agatha i think agatha is like the line like you can't have too many things going on where until you know a nine episode mini series here some of these episodes not even 20 minutes you know like you can't be doing that to us though so i'm glad that it was just wanda um especially with the ending there definitely setting her up and what agatha has been saying definitely setting her up to be a villain in multiverse doctor strange 2 uh, multiverse of madness um which i like i like that uh my problem with that is gonna be we don't know too much about it yet the things that we do know dr strange america chavez um scarlet witch probably wong probably mordo i'm only assuming mordo just because of the fact that they set him up really good in dr strange one and then the thing is, they could have changed their plan since then, because that came out in, what, 2016-ish, I think? 2017? Um, maybe earlier, even? But yeah, that movie came out a while ago. Pre-COVID also. So, like, I'm not too tied down to the idea that Mordo is going to come back for this, because I feel like they've changed their idea for what's going to happen in Doctor Strange 2 too many times. Like, all of a sudden, it's a multiverse thing. All of a sudden, Wanda's there. Wanda's such a big player in the MCU right now. I feel like if they bring Mordo in, that's too many cooks in the kitchen kind of thing. Um, as much as I'd love him to show up, I don't know what direction they're going right now, so I can't predict that he'll be there. But yeah, um, definitely think they're going... See, the, the thing with the ending... See, what sticks out to me is a couple things. Firstly, they introduced the idea of Wiccan and Speed, right? We've shown here that they are part of her imagination, whatever, her, like, creation thing, but she didn't get it right. Um, I think it would be a dumb idea to erase their existence completely, which they didn't. They specifically, at the end set it up to where they're out there somewhere knowing that she's going to be in multiverse of madness it confuses things because maybe they're from the multiverse they're not her children but they're children of i don't know how to explain it so somebody said in the comments um i don't know if it was my video or somewhere else but um going back to the nexus commercial swanda is a nexus character this is what they said i don't know if it's true or not but um wanda's a nexus character which basically means she is like the prime she is she is it there is no other wanda from what i understand it's like um so because i'm more versed in dc if we go to DC, it's like how there's a multiverse in DC. There's other worlds. You know, the Earth Prime is the normal one. Then there's Earth 3, which is very much the like crime syndicate and like twisted versions of our heroes. And then there's, you know, Young Justice Universe and all, all that shit. Okay, there's infinite Earths, right? However, there is only one monitor and anti-monitor. And, you know, the crisis on infinite Earths, there are multiple versions of each hero but there's only one this guy and one that guy you know that kind of thing that's what i'm understanding it as so there's only one wanda it's either that or this wanda that we know is able to affect the multiverse somehow i don't know like i, said, I, I it's it's complicated because i don't quite understand what it means yet but what muddies the water is that this dr strange 2 is going to revolve around the fact that there's a multiverse and so, specifically because she is, whatever, a Nexus character or something, yada yada. Um, specifically because 
we have toyed with the idea that there are other Pietros out there. It makes me wonder, are Wiccan and Speed going to be other versions of them where they're they're grown up or something and then that you could pull them back from there? I don't know. Like there there has to be a way they come back because it is too much of a it's Wiccan especially. He is such a, a like I don't even know if cult is the right word, but like he is such a popular character in Marvel for the gays, for magic, for young Avengers. It's just like he's such like a, 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 a prime real estate for the movies and the, the, the MCU that they can't get rid of him completely. So I'm just curious how they're going to bring him back. Is it going to be this version? Is it going to be some alternate reality that she picks up in Multiverse of Madness? Is it going to be 2.0? Because I feel like she has to... I'm calling it here now. Plot point for Doctor Strange 2. She tries again to make... Because she's living in the fucking middle of nowhere. Writing-wise, it makes sense. Her character, she would try again. She's doing some reading. She's doing some studying. She's learning how to use the magic. Agatha said it can be done. She said you can't change the, the spell that you've already done. So she took it down... She's going to make it better this time. She's going to make her own little ecosystem where she has vision, she has her kids, and she's not hurting anybody. But of course, from what Agatha's saying, you've you've set off the spark, whatever, yada, yada, chaos magic. Um, I, like, I like the story we're going with where Wanda and the MCU starts off as a villain in Ultron. She turns around and becomes an Avenger. Cool. Because of all the things that have happened, all the grief, the tragedy she's struck in her life, she goes through this dark period in WandaVision, and then she comes out as sort of an anti-hero, so, uh, an antagonistic force. Can you trust her? Can you not? Um, you know, especially with all the sort of doomsaying that Agatha is telling her, I believe it. I believe that they're setting up for Wanda to be a villain in the MCU, which is cool. Um, I don't know how prominent a villain, I don't know how, like, is she Thanos level, or is she gonna just be, like, you know, Loki level, <laughs> so, um, I'm curious about that, but it's still cool to see, um, is there anything else about Wanda that I want to talk about right now, I like the outfit, cool there, so, I believe it was Feige, lied to us um he said there was like a luke skywalker level cameo the only thing i can think of is it was um wanda getting her outfit like that's the only equivalent i can find because I, I don't recognize any cameos there was it woody harrelson because i saw somebody speed whatever bill tommy the uh, tommy went to take down the military took all their guns and shit and then he took the hat and the glasses off and it looked like Willie woody harrelson <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that would be such a dumb cameo, but also it looked like him in the split second that we saw him. So is that the cameo? Because if so, that's fucking dumb. Okay. <laughs> but either way, he lied. Um, uh, Hayward, again, I didn't expect a lot from him, so I'm okay with it. If they come back later and tell us, oh, he was really somebody else. But was it the scroll? Was that the cameo? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> we're moving on. Um, so yeah, Hayward. He served his purpose. Uh, I don't really expect to see him a lot. Some people were thinking that this show could tie into Armor Wars. Which I think is a pretty cool idea actually. Because Vision is a Tony Stark creation in a way. Um, and Hayward definitely is trying to vie for that power slot there. Um, I think it would be like a neat little subplot there um i don't know if they set it up correctly to do it but it's it you know when that arm when armor wars comes out maybe we'll see that it does sort of have some ramifications maybe that's where we see vision again white vision rather um uh monica loved her um i wish she had a little bit more to do a little bit more powers but what we saw was cool like we see that she can see her eyes changed color, so I thought at first she was getting mind-controlled by Agatha. That's why her eyes were cruel. But it was because she was, like, looking for the magical aura of the thing that she was, you know, she was trying to find, like, the source of the power. So that's cool that she can sort of locate power sources there. Um, 
uh, I don't really get, I, th I guess it was her turning into energy and that's how she was able to like let the bullets go through her and stuff and they were slowing down because if she went straight vision and just went, um, what's it called? It's not translucent, but it's like, whatever. If she went like that, um, like vision does, then the bullets would still go full force into the kids. But no, she like change the density of her body to where it doesn't hurt her but it still gets slowed down so i think that was cool i think she was turning into energy but it was just a weird visual version of it because like she just turned yellow and uh, like i think me personally if i was like in control of this i would have done a different visual choice for how she does that to make it more clear that she is turning into physical energy but maybe they don't want to set it up too like concretely yet either um but yeah, so that was cool. Um, and then she's obviously going to Captain Marvel 2. We knew it. Um, or she could show up in Secret Wars, whatever. Because they did set up the scrolls. Um, but I think she was talking about... Again, I haven't seen Captain Marvel, so I can't... I don't have a lot of room to talk, but I've heard... I've read the synopsis, okay? Um, I believe Nick Fury is in outer space, whatever, with the scrolls. So I'm assuming that's who they're talking about here at the end of this uh, episode was... You know, Nick Fury wants to talk to you. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, and then Jimmy, I feel like he's the last major character I want to talk about. Darcy didn't really do much. You know, she was she was there. She did she did stuff, but like, she was Darcy, whatever. Um, but Jimmy Wu, I liked that they gave him stuff to do in this show. Um, I feel like Ant-Man and the Wasp, he just kind of was there. Very much just like, hey, here's a name character drop. Um because he didn't do anything in that show, like, in that movie. I'm sorry, but no. Um, so I'm glad that he got to, like, show some agency, show that he's competent, for one. Um, now, he's not just a bumbling Asian side character kind of thing. You know, he actually has authority. He actually has some skill. Um, like, I loved that he was sneaky enough, because in the comics, he is sort of like a super spy kind of character. Um, he was sneaky enough to grab that cell phone, grab that paperclip, pick himself out the lock, call people really quick. You know, um, so I hope that we are, you know, down the line, obviously, like maybe five years from now, but I think it'd be cool if we get some agents of Atlas. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, get some Asian characters up in here. Um, I mean, you're introducing Chang chi He's very much a part of that. Um, we have Helen Cho from Ultron. Again, tying some Ultron into it. Um, her nephew, I believe, is Amadeus Cho, Hulk. You know, let's get, let, I'm just saying, you have some, you have some, you have some light ties in right now. If you really want to go for it, you can go for it. So I hope that they do in the, like I said, I'm not expecting anytime soon, but same thing with Young Avengers. Like they're setting up the little seeds right now so that hopefully in like five-ish years, we can get some announcements that, hey, we're going to do Young Avengers. Hey, we're going to do um, Agents of Atlas. You know, we're going to do all these little, these niche teams because I, for one, like team stories better. I've always been a big fan of the Titans, um, Justice League, more than solo titles. You know, I'm not really... I just feel like there's. it's better to have that diversity and that sort of... Um, you can see the interactions with people. Um, whereas if it's just a Titan it, like, this is about this character, I'm not really as interested. So I'm hoping that we get these bigger team stories just because, it, for me personally, it's just more fun. Um, I know it's all probably about a lot more work to, to sort of get them all together and, you know, make the stories work and stuff like that. But anyways, um, I think I'm done talking <laughs> again. I, I, I seem very ecstatic and hyped. Um, it was, it was a middling episode for me, to be honest. Um, I'd put it about a seven or eight just because it was very third act of a superhero movie where it was just like, okay, we're going to fight now. Um, you know, in some sort of, some, I think it was just because I could see the way that they were going, and I'm of the mind that media, media doesn't have to always subvert your expectations and shock value you, but also, this show has been so vague and nebulous as to, will it twist things, will it go the way that we were expecting, that I was 
built up to believe it was going to be sort of twist endings. And I guess the twist ending is that she does turn down the dark side. So in that sense, I, I really liked it. And like I said, I'm very ecstatic about that part because I think it's neat um, to see Wanda turning into an anti-hero slash villain antagonistic feature character creature whatever um so i like that stuff it's more of the things of you know the fact that she was willing to kill her kids and you know i know she didn't kill her kids but you know she's willing to let them go her vision her vision go and stuff like that so that stuff was cool it was just like hayward just being a classic villain and you know we stopped him through the power of teamwork and um you know vision versus vision and the witch versus the witch is like, oh my, okay it's so that part was just so boring to me because like okay you know we see this every movie especially when marvel they're they're such big offenders of here's a character and here's the evil version of the character here's here's iron man and here's iron monger and here's uh you know <laughs> like here's ant-man and here's yellow jackets it's like oh okay i get it um so in that sense, that's why I was bored because it was very formulaic in terms of Marvel. And again, I've I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Marvel. Um, going into the show, I was not one of the naysayers, but like I know definitely that I am not as interested in Marvel as compared to some other people, and that's fine. You know, I still enjoyed the show for what it was. Um, I'm not going to sing its praisers as the best show on the television in the world, but it was fun. You know, it was intriguing. It set some things up, which I liked. Um, and yeah, you know, it overall, I had a good time watching it. I wouldn't say it's like going to revolutionize the MCU or anything, but I think it's definitely setting up some good plot points for the future. Um, it, it, it wrapped up the storylines it needed to. It set up some storylines for the future again like i said um you know it, it left us in a good spot and so that's all i can say really you know that's that's all you can really hope for in a mini series is that well in a in a tie-in i guess um is that it tells what the story that it needs to and it leaves us in a good jumping point for the future so with that thanks for watching everyone um leave a thoughts down in the comments below uh falcon winter soldier that comes out in like two weeks right because I don't think it comes out next week. I believe it comes out... I want to say it was the 15th, but that doesn't... I don't think it comes out on Monday. I'm assuming it's coming out on the 19th. It could be coming out next week. I don't know. Either way, you'll see me there. Um, and that one... <laughs> let me tell you. I'm probably going to be even more bored with that show, to be honest. Um, I'm still excited for it, but... Knowing me, knowing how I feel about Marvel... It feels so far like it's going to be just a standard Marvel show, so... I'm not going to have that sort of layer of, ooh, what's going to happen? It's going to be like, okay. Um, but I am interested to see sort of like Baron Zemo and its full potential. U.S. agent I know is going to show up in that. Um, Falcon and Winter Soldier are both such, maybe individually less interesting, but together they're a really good duo. So I'm very excited for all that stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll see how that ties in as well. Um, I'm going to stop rambling. I was going to go on side tangent about work, but... Uh, We'll, we'll save it for next week, uh, some other time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching. WandaVision. Wait, I need to go this way.